This is Mercedes from Surfing to Success, and I wanted to show you how to make tables in PowerPoint. Um, I thought of this because I recently shared how I uh, made a lesson plan book in PowerPoint that looked like this, and I know my schedule is very different than yours, and I thought you might like to make your own. So um, the first thing that I'll show you how to do is insert a slide. You have two choices to insert a slide. Um, by the way, I'm doing this on a Mac with PowerPoint. If I go up to where it says New, I can click on that, choose the number of boxes that I want, and when I click there, a slide will show up. Another option, I'll delete that one, is to go to Insert, and then choose Table, and then you can pick how big you want your table to be. You can use the arrows or you can type numbers and it will insert that. The next thing I wanted to show you is how to resize. It automatically picks a size for you, but if you want it to take up the whole screen, like I did when I made my lesson plan book, um, you just click the edges and drag, and it'll make it however big or small that you want. Um, also, you have options for the style. Mine came out purple because that's the theme that I've chosen. Under themes you can set um, the theme that you like and you, once you click save theme it will just automatically do that theme next time you come up. But um, I don't want this particular table to be purple so I can change it. If you click on tables it will show you that there are different options and you just click on it and it will change it for you to give you a basic. Um, when I did my lesson plan book I um, used a option that was just white, <coughs> excuse me, and that allowed me to make the changes that I wanted. Um, some of the tables have these darker spots or the different columns. If you choose um, a table and you don't like what the basic setup is, you have options over here. The banded, uh, to have banded rows, let me show you with the purple, would be that one row is darker than the other. To have a header row would mean that the header is darker than the other. If you choose the blank one though, you can also make changes by selecting and then filling it in with whatever color you want. It can be whatever you want it to be. And it can go in any direction you want it to go. It could just be a couple of slides I mean a couple of cells if that's what you want. You can click undo. Oh, too far. Okay, um, when you type into the cells it automatically sets it in a certain place and you may not want it in that spot. If you're in the table layout all you have to do is click on home and it'll take you back to where you have your handy dandy little buttons. Um, I use the one for centering a lot, so I think I'm going to select the top row, and it'll center it from left to right, but you also have the option within the cell to center it from top to bottom, so if you wanted to move your text to, oops, to a different location, you use this button here. They call it text alignment. Um, you can also change anything the way you normally would. You could pick a different font, you can pick it just for the header or um, you can choose to pick it for um, the whole slide. If you want to make a change to the whole slide, just click um, on the corner before you make the change. Here, let me actually type something into one of these cells before I do that. And it'll change the whole slide or you can select just the cells that you want to change and you can of course change the font size with the numbers or by making them go up and down if you have it selected. Um, also I want to show you how to format the cells. If you go back to where it says tables you have some options. Let's say that I didn't want um, lines in this particular part of the cell. I can change where the lines are by using these options. This one takes them away completely, um, but when it's selected you can usually still see where the line is. They have a, a little 
indicator to remind you where it would be. If you want to put it back without using undo, you just can click one of these where it has a border everywhere. Now notice this border looks different. That's because over here, my last time I used it, I had changed it. So you have different options for what you want your borders to look like. Um, you're probably, if you haven't used that before, it's probably in a straight line and at a smaller point. And if I wanted to do that, I just adjust that and click the button again, and it should make it look the same. Now that can be helpful if you want to change so that the bottom line of your um, top cell looks different. You might decide to have a thicker line maybe. And so you can either click up here and choose the bottom line to do that, or you can also use the draw button. The draw button is helpful if you want to add another line inside of your table. For example, um, say I want to have two cells right here for some reason. I can click on the draw button and I can just draw a line and it will, oops, I went, I didn't go straight enough. <laughs> and we'll draw a line in there. Uh, as you just saw, you can also draw diagonal lines. If you want to use a diagonal without using the draw button, you can. Um, if you select a cell um, or cells and you click on one of these, you can have a diagonal put in. Um, probably don't want to do all of these things, but I'm just showing you some examples of how you can change them. And of course, if you don't like it, you can use the undo button to erase, or if you want to erase something that you did earlier, you could use click on erase, and then it'll go away. Um, so that way, you don't have to erase everything you just did to get rid of it. And um, I have a hard time getting rid of the eraser without clicking right here, so I just click there. It gives me my regular um, items back. Um, this isn't the most beautiful table in the world, but um, those are the, the techniques that I used in order to create um, my lesson plan book. I just shaded different colors. Um, I guess I can show you how to do that. Oops, I'm still on test. Um, I can shade one thing a different color than the others by checking, choosing one of the different shades. Maybe I want that shade going that direction, and maybe I want this shade going this direction. And that works whether you're at home. Well, that doesn't really look that different. Let me darken it. Um, that works whether you're at the home part, not your own house. You can do it at work too. And it also works if you're under table. There's also a section called Table Layout where you can do some of the things I showed you, um, but there's also some other options. Let me get rid of this table because it looks so sad. Um, I'm just going to click on Tables. I'll do a, I'll insert a table that size. And then if you click on where it says Table Layout, which it only says after you've inserted a table, you have different options. If you started your table and you realize, oh, I need another call, another row or another column, you can do that. And what I found, um, I don't know if the PC version does this, although I haven't used it as much, but let's say that I, I put type in three columns and then I wanted to get rid of one of the columns. It seems to know which one I've typed in. So I find that helpful because I was afraid to use that um, the first time. Also with table layout, you can add columns in above like I just did or um, below what's selected or to the left, um, etc. Or you can delete a selected column. Let's say I didn't want the one that had the numbers in it. I could hit delete. I can delete a row or a column and I can delete that row. Um, also what's helpful if you and notice anytime that I click back it takes me to home. So if I want to if I wonder where it went I just need to click on the table and it will bring me back where I was with the tables. Um, it's helpful to be able to split um, sometimes. So I clicked on split and I clicked inside of a box and now I'm going to have two columns within that box. Um, that was very helpful because on my um, on my lesson plan book I have a different day on Wednesdays. We have half days so I split a couple of things in order to make that fit in and also 
Um, my first column is for notes, so I got rid of a few things. I think I might have actually just used the um, button to get rid of the, the lines. They might still be hidden in there. Um, one other item that you might like to know is that this, when people, when you see things that are typed um, and they're going up and down, it's actually text direction. You can do this in columns or in other things. Stacked would be um, that the letters are on top of each other because that's so small, you can't really tell that it stacked it. Um, oh, and I can also adjust, if I just want to adjust the header, um, you can adjust just one particular column. So that would be stacked. I could put it in the middle. Um, or you could um, have it be clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, so those are just some options for you. I hope that that helps. This went a little longer than I expected, but if you stuck around, thank you very much. Um, again, I'm Mercedes at Surfing to Success. I hope you have a great day.